You know, a very important victory today. Get back on the winning trail after the disappointment at Inverness last week. How did you assess yeah. the game? Yeah, I think I would uh, agree with you. It was an important win. But uh, I think it was a good game. Really hard game. I think Air United are a good side with a lot of good players. Like their shape, like their organisation. I thought our both were uh, up for it though. I think we uh, we've kind of, ah, it's certainly edge. Yeah, we certainly deserve to win the game. But uh, it was a good hard game. I think the first half against the wind, against them, our organisation and our commitment was good. In the second half, we just upped it a wee bit and we're kind of back to where we were, what we're good at. In other words, you know, pressing and, yeah. and uh, getting the second balls. Came out for the second half, kind of fired up for it and yeah. got the goal at the right time, just four or five minutes after the interval. And I know. I know, it's worth, from... but winning is everything, eh? Three points is worth uh, working for. But yeah, I mean, we... Uh, when you come in, and if you come in at half time and it's nothing each, uh, it's, it's nothing really. I mean, it's the second half that matters now. So we had done nothing the first half. So it was, it was down to how we uh, played the second half. And I thought, all in all, we did well, didn't we? I thought we pressed. And I thought we the second balls were good. So and we created a lot of problems and uh, for Air United the second half. It was yep. a good game, hard game. Uh, probably, as I say, I think we edged it. More than edge that actually. Yeah, and you restricted them to very, very few chances. Yeah. I think yeah. Callum Antell only had one stop yeah. to make with his feet. Aye. Aye. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I mean, I've not been. Uh... I mean, see, this league, this league is fantastic. Uh, it's fully teams that are good players, great defences. This league, and uh, and our defence is as good as any, if no better than most. So. Uh, the teams aren't going to get many chances against us so we know that, that that's a good foundation to build on eh? but uh, there was a lot of light uh, and dick light as well about uh, about the game today hard conditions but I thought we were kind of looking we were more like ourselves in a lot of ways yeah <clears throat> just saying that in commentary that yeah. this was like the you know, broth team yeah. from maybe a month ago you know yeah. before this recent spell that seemed to so. get the energy back the enthusiasm yeah. back working 110% throughout the whole game yeah, it, was, I know. it was really good yeah, I think and the so. fans were getting behind it as well well I think you've, you've just nailed it again I think there's a togetherness in the club but the whole the fans the whole club was kind of looking for us to do better because we kind of let ourselves down last week and that's history but it's now where we go and uh, hey bring it on it's, it's a great on, place yeah. to be and, just and now apart from Kilmarnock getting that one I know the, yeah, good the on them. results were good for, for our growth today aye. Aye, um, good on them we're kind of genuinely only interested in ourselves we've got a few we've got a few games to play and a few you hard, hard fights, but uh, we're certainly up for the battle. Yep. Well, we'll Bring move it on. on to Wraith Rovers next week. Yeah, yeah. I heard they got they, they got beat today, didn't they? Yeah, and uh, Inverness, of... good, well done. But no, yeah, in, uh, Wraith Rovers here are uh, it'll be a hard game. They're a very good team. I, I like John the way he did the way he manages his team and the way he sets his team up. Same with him and Smudger. But, uh, but hey, we're no walkovers ourselves, are we? Absolutely not. So well done. Thank you very much. I look forward to next week. Bye-bye. Cheers.